Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This is a quick 101 about sending your projects from Final Cut Pro 10 to the brand new Logic Pro 10. It's actually really straightforward and there's two things you need to do first of all. Export the XML. You can do this by going File, Export XML and then choose an appropriate name and save location. Then you also want to export your sequence using the share menu. I recommend checking out my tutorial for compressor settings inside of Final Cut Pro 10 for more details. Then what we want to do is hop straight over to Logic Pro 10. Remember to create a new empty project. If you choose multi-track project, it's going to give you 24 tracks that you don't actually need. Choose File, Import, Final Cut Pro XML, and then navigate to the file and load it in. Logic might want to change the sample rate of some of the audio files. I'd recommend upgrading the sample rate rather than downgrading some of them, and it might take a little while to do this. Logic does a pretty good job at the moment, but it isn't very good at track management. It would be really cool if it used roles in order to organize and name your different tracks inside of Logic. However, it does do a pretty good job of unfolding compound clips so that you can access all the audio material in your timeline. Then what we want to do is go File, Movie, Open Movie. Uh, this will enable us to edit the sound mix to the moving picture. This is the uh, video file that we've exported using the Share menu. Uncheck the import audio unless you're creating a sound score, like um, a soundtrack, in which case diegetic sound will be useful. Uh, but if you're working on the actual sound mix, then you want to turn off the regular um, sound import. Once you've made all the changes you want to the sound and, and you're finished mixing it, there's a few different ways to send it back to Final Cut Pro 10. One of them is to very quickly create a bounce, which is a mix down. Um, but I'd recommend choosing File, Export, Final Cut Pro XML, and then on the dialog box, uncheck Video and Compound Clip. This will basically disable sending video back to Final Cut Pro 10, but what it will also do is um, disable this thing where it basically compounds, it doesn't actually create a compound clip, it compounds all the audio files into a single audio file, a bit like creating a mix down and then importing it, but without the, uh, the extra steps. If you uncheck both these options, this will actually mix all the individual tracks into their own audio files. Then when you import the XML, it's going to create a brand new project. With that project, you can grab all the audio files, create a compound clip. Then what you want to do is press Shift F to reveal the uh, compound clip in your event browser, and then you can drag it into the original timeline. You've now got a single file on the timeline with all the audio material mixed from Logic Pro 10. You can always update this compound clip by re-exporting from Logic and then creating a new compound clip. Um, however, exporting the XML can take a lot longer depending on the complexity of and uh, sort of scale or size of your uh, of your project. So, thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. I'll have a more in-depth tutorial on this uh, sometime in the near future. Remember to request tutorials in the uh, comments area. If uh, this logic tutorial was useful and you'd like to see some more logic tutorials, then let me know. And I just want to say a big thanks to everyone. I've just hit 20,000 subscribers and 4.5 and million views, and it, it's just fantastic. So uh, it, I, st I, I still get the, the childish glee every time I get new subscribers, and it, it really means a lot that I have an audience for my work and my film. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new tutorial.